The video is about the complete supply chain process of a flour mill. Wheat is the only basic ingredient required for the production of flour and other related products. Whenever the wheat came in the mill, usually stored it in the silos. The mill whose supply chain we are showing has three silos with a storage capacity of 150,000 bags. Wheat is drawn out from the silos when the production is required and stored in an intake hopper. From there it is elevated towards the separator for cleaning of stones and grains larger than wheat. After cleaning it head towards dirty bin for temporary storage and then again elevated towards another separator for separation of smaller particles. From separators it head towards washing and visor for washing and few further cleaning and then stored in clean bin for 24 hours for drying. After 24 hours, wheat is elevated to the scorer to remove the thin peel from the grain and then headed towards aspirator for cleaning of small grains. Then wheat shifted to the roller bodies through worms for crushing of grains and elevated towards cyclones to separate air from the crushed grain. From there, it went down to the plant shifter to separate the all crushed products and move towards the purifier. From here, floor and refined floor is sent for the packing. and rest of the material is again sent to the roller bodies for further crushing to make animal feed and semolina. The packed bags then stored in the stores 